Understandably, reaction is pouring in on social media as we learn more about this incident. For more on that, we welcome in our Ariana Moyer. Ariana, safe to say this has been the big story digitally. It has been trending and people are using social media to share their condolences, similar to Trooper Rougeau a little while back. But what's different this time is they're kind of using it as a call to action. They are sharing things like something needs to be done about that area. Now it hasn't always been violent, but it seems in the most recent years there seems to be a lot of shooting going on and they're just like, we want something done about it. We obviously thoughts and prayers, hope he's okay, but we don't want something like this to happen again where families in the neighborhood can get injured or other officers get injured as well. Mike, I know this is one of the areas that Erie police are really focused on this summer because that region of town has about 10% of the population but about 30% of the crime. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's been incredible that area for quite a long period of time and it's just amazing the outpouring from the community yeah. when something like this happens and it happened early Sunday morning and and the community responds once again. News spreads so quickly, as exactly, we all know, in Erie. Exactly. And, and how many people have you bumped into even today who knew uh, Sergeant Stuck or knew family members and, and are feeling this personally today? Just probably like every other person I ran into. That's yeah. all they're talking about right now is what happened early Sunday morning. Certainly, uh, thank goodness he's alive. And yes. we'll have details uh, as we as learn more about his cover. condition on our website, erienewsnow.com. That is always the place to go for the absolute latest news in our region.